Okay, hey, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener, and I have a blue java banana plant in this pot. I propagated them inside by cutting the corn and I grew them under LED lights. I moved them outside to harden up. They're a pretty good size so I'm going to go ahead and plant one right here. These beds I went ahead and dug them down three foot by six foot by six foot. Filled them up with composted manure and put composted chips over them last season. I left a PVC pipe I put that around it just so I don't hit it. I left the PVC pipe right here directly in the middle of the bed because after a while it's hard to tell exactly where the bed is. The bed is raised up off of the ground a little bit because I wanted some height because when I put chips all around that chip, so I'm going to have about a foot, it's going to turn into good organic composted soil after a while. So this is where I want to plant it. Okay, most of the chips are out of the way, but I want to pull some of this chips out of the way over here because I'm going to be digging. Okay. So right over here is the center of the hole. I'm going to lay this right over here so I know I don't lose track. And that's the center. So let me go ahead and dig up a little bit. Now you see this is pure organic compost right here that I put there last season so it's going to be easy to dig. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now, let me measure the height. Okay, that's about to there. So that's up pretty high. I gotta go down a little deeper. Okay, I want it to come up a little above. That's about right. Remove a couple of the weeds that grew in. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get this in there. This is the fun part. You gotta be careful when you take it out so 
I like pushing down on the pot so it slides out easier. Okay, let me take some of that out that fell in, see how deep I got to go, it's about shovel, that's about right, take some of these chips out that fell in there, okay. That looks good right there. Let's go ahead and backfill it. Okay, let me go get my hose and we're gonna wash in that soil all the way down under the roots so there's no air pocket. Okay, water's coming out nice and cool. Get the dirt off me. Let's go ahead and water this in. Clean it up. What I'm doing now is trying to get that water to go down all around the plant. That way it pushes down the compost, takes air pockets out. Wet all this up. Okay. Now I like taking the hose like this and running it down. That way you're sure you take out any air pockets. Just keep working it around like this.
Okay, this blue java is planted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some chips and pile some chips up because I want to retain all the moisture that's down in there. So I'll rake some of this up that's all around it, then I'm gonna go get some other chips. Okay, so I have some of the composted chips that's been laying around on top. Now I'm gonna mound up a lot of fresh chips. So let me go get some. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is let me just hose this and get it all nice and wet first. Get the chips wet and that's gonna retain all that moisture since I just planted the blue java banana plant, we're gonna give it a nice humid and wet bed all the way around. So I'm gonna wet it really good. All those chips are gonna also keep the uh, compost from washing out because it's about a foot higher than the surrounding ground. Okay, so this is good, it's planted. I think before I go get fresh chips, because I'm gonna get a, a tractor bucket full, let me go ahead and plant some of the other ones, and then I'll come back and put the, uh, the fresh chips on them. I wanna get these in the ground, so let's get going. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to remove this. That just protects it. Going to move the plant. Now here's the center of the bed. So that's where I want to plant. So let me remove some of these chips. I'll put the chips back on in a bit. Since I already got the center marked with a stringer, I'm gonna to try to be careful to keep it semi-centered so everything looks uniform. But we all know when banana plants grow in, they grow other pups and stuff. So after a while, that ain't gonna matter. But I still like to have a uniform look. Yeah, that was a hard one to get out. So it's got some nice roots, but I'm gonna have to fill in this hole a little bit. I'm gonna use what it was growing in. Okay, I'm gonna plant it right about like that. So let me fill it in. Okay, up a little higher. Get 
get those center roots to go down and I want it up like that so that looks good that up higher so Okay, the roots are down and the plants down, but I want it up higher, so I'm going to mound all this. I'm not going to pack it, but I'm going to lift up on the banana plant. Till I get the height I want, which is about right here. Now I'll push down under it. And mount more up all the way around it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna let that water soak down in. And meanwhile, I'm gonna go over there and start the next one. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. I got this one and I got one, two, three, three more down that way. But this is all I'm gonna do for today is these three, I'll do that some other day. So I put this around just to protect them. I'll put them back too. Remove it. Okay, remove the plant. And now remove some of this top chips over here. Okay, so here's the center of the hole. Okay. It's hot out. That's why I'm only doing one more. Okay, let's see how this one comes out. Hopefully easier than that last one. same thing I got most of the roots but I 
I lost some small ones down the bottom. Whew. Dig a hole so those roots could go down deep. Okay, those roots could go down deep now and I want the plant up here so I'm going to hold it and backfill with the roots down deep okay I had the roots down that far and I held the plant up instead of balling it up like this I want those roots down deep Pushing the dirt all the way down. Now I'm going to go ahead and water it in, get all the air out. This water is already hot because of the hose is getting baked on. It's probably 90 degrees out already. Okay, now it's getting cool. Well, that feels good. Now I'm going to water it in. First, I'm going to let the water wash it down. Then I'm going to stick the hose in there. So I'm going to make sure there's no air pockets down deep. That's all sifting it on down like that. It's pulling all that sand down, all the manure down, all the composted manure. Okay. Let's wash it down. Once again, I'm going to let it wash down. Now, if I need more compost, I'll put some compost on that and wash more down. It depends until the until this gets nice and firm. It's going to be loose in the beginning, but it'll, it'll compact down once all this water washes it down. And these will go back on here like that. Once it's done, that'll protect. No deer's gonna run into it, and people that come down in here won't hit it by accident. That's all that's for. So I'm gonna let that soak in. I have another bucket over there that still has some in, so let me get that. Okay, okay so this one here is still full. So I'm gonna utilize this to go on there it's starting to stiffen up once that water goes down I'll be able to look at the base I'll push down with my hand and if I need more I'll put more in and compact it till that's sturdy and then I'll put these chips around it all the way around and then I have those to do another day and then I'll put some fresh chips around this so that won't look like a mound. They'll just be contoured and look like the rest of the ground. So as that's doing that, I'm going to get some water. Back at you. Okay, so I had my water break.
<coughs> okay, so that's going to compact. It's real wet down in there. So with this sun, it's all going to dry out. Then I'll come out here and feel. It should be nice and firm. If not, I'll put more in. But I think that's pretty good. Once again, these are going to go... Once I fill this in and level it up and put chips all around the plant, I'm going to put these on all of them. And these protect the plant. Nothing could run into it. Plus, I got a fence over there. We have a lot of wildlife in this area, a lot of deer and stuff. And they, you know, they could knock it over, step on it, do whatever, but they don't eat banana plants so with that said hey this is the frugal hugel gardener this is me planting my blue java banana plants and these are the original these are the ones that got the knuckles pretty soon they'll be big and they'll be shooting off pups i'll have blue java banana plants blue java hands blue java bananas i'll be selling pups and along that side, I have a 100-foot strip that I'm prepping right now. A lot of these pups are going to go over there, so I'll have two whole rows of blue java plants over here. So, hey, if you enjoyed, go ahead and give me a like, show me your love, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, hey, so there's always something I forget. Let me go ahead and show you what I did and what I need to do down the end. Well, this is what it looks like. The blue job is in the bed. Now it needs to root better and grow. I got that there for a protectant. They're all going to be in a row all the way going down over 100 foot. That's a Mexican sunflower. Got the blue java plant right there. We just planted it. Mexican sunflower. Here's the blue java we just planted. I'm going to have to plant this blue java and that blue java. I'm going to plant this blue java right over here next time. And right down here in this end bed, that's going to be the start of my plantains. I'm going to plant the plantain there. Right over here is a bed that I dug out. I'm filling it with horse manure, composted sheep manure and stuff like that, plus tilling it under with sand. This is gonna be a whole row of banana plants here shortly. I dug that out approximately three feet deep. I filled it in already about a foot and a half, maybe two feet deep. Now I gotta continue like I did here that's going to be level with the ground plus I'm going to come up over the ground and the bed is going to end over here so there'll be some some tropical banana plants in here so over here I got the plantain corn in I think March and it's already looking like a plantain plant but i'm going to go plant it down the end so this whole row is going to be bananas that whole row is going to be bananas and i think it's going to give a really nice walkway or runway nice tropical look okay talk to you all soon